Just going to give a little update video here on kind of what we're getting ready to do for nationals and some of the prep and stuff. Um, I've always had a kind of a popping in the front diff and I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was the, um, the roller bearings and they're skipping around. And, um, but it still worked just when I got in bind, it would hop. And they say it's because, you know, like these rollers back here, will get in here and then they'll start, you know, hopping and skipping. I already have the, um, Aluminum Sprague from Super ATV. I think I'm going to try to get these H clips or H springs and get a little bit more tension on them. And so maybe it'll stop. But when I took it apart though, I didn't notice it wearing or skipping around in there. It looks like it's riding fine right there. So it might be on the uh, internal part that sits in here. But last ride I had four wheel drive the whole time. Never not had it. And um, But when I pulled this apart, I noticed this. So broken like uh, five pieces so either it went out as soon as the ride was over or during the ride and somehow it just was working um so i got a new one of these from uh, super atv got a new one of those i got all new uh, bearings and seals for the diff um it's all balls which is the spark brand i got um this I've never had a problem with it, but I know Holes used to make a uh, billet flange here. I guess they stopped making it, which I really wish they would. I'd love to be able to pop another one of those in there. I wish I would have bought a few before they went out. Um, also got new front wheel bearings here. I already popped those out. One there. Um, still got to knock this race out. So, shouldn't be a problem. Um, I never made a video of it, but I upgraded to the um, Razor S dual headers. Kind of give a little bit more, um, you know, one less thing I'll have to do whenever I go and get into the um, motor and do the high compression and all that. Um, another thing I did is I replaced the fan. I, I noticed the fan kind of had a little bit of a slack on it or felt like bearings were going out in the bike. But then when I took it out, it felt fine. But I just went ahead and ordered another one anyways. And that was a pain all in itself. Um, I don't know how people are getting fans out, but it's not that easy. I couldn't, you can't go out this side because you have, or this side because you have the, um, uh, the, the hoses here. And on this side you have this, uh, reservoir, but with the brackets are still down there. So basically what I had to do is take these two bolts out and then take my rectifier out. And I did that by drilling these two holes just to be able to get to the bolts, pull this bag, pull the rectifier out. And then pull the radiator, or the yeah, the radiator as far up as I could. Slide the shroud out from the top here, and then still yank the uh, yank the fan out. Um, not really looking forward to putting the new one in, but this is the old one. It still seems fine. This doesn't spin the greatest, so. That's pretty much it, I mean, as far as the front end. Other than, tie rods are still doing good. Gotta get new brake pads all around. Um, river on sand just eats them up. My brakes were never that great. My pedal would like, I mean, barely go down. It would, it, but it would stop, but it would barely go down. So I think it was sticking. I think I figured out why. This is actually my brake fluid. If you look in the bottom there, yeah, that's, I really should have done better than that, but it is what it is and some found it was overfilled and so now I'm gonna have to bleed all the brakes um, I always start with the farthest farthest and then there to the front left compared to the uh, are all relevant to the master cylinder but now the, pe uh, the pedal works good um, it's not tight anymore um, and so it's kind of I believe everything on this we got I'm trying to finish up with all this stuff so I can get Kevin's back in here because I don't know why, but he ordered a Turner gear reduction for the transmission. So we got that video going to be coming out. I haven't even started on it yet, but I'm still waiting on it to get here. Just kind of a the um, dual header. So yeah, we got to get that coming in, that done. All my stuff here will be done with probably today all the stuff back together um, and then we'll go from there but yeah I got a video coming out soon about his uh, transmission and putting in a gear reduction he might do 
um, a bigger reverse chain, but I highly doubt it. So, see what happens next.